we have talked about that most seizures in the neonate are symptomatic of an acute illness like HIE, trauma, and vascular CNS infection, metabolic abnormalities in common ones like hypoglycemia or hypocalcemia. The etiology is not hard to recognize by a careful history, physical neurological exam, and initial laboratory work. The interictal EEG might be non-specific or focal discharges in systemic etiology, or even not uncommon to be normal. At times, EEG may not be needed for clinical judgment because the active problems resolve soon. What is difficult clinically is the persistent seizures even after an initial survey and management with a known cause still. We may call them neonatal epilepsies. They are three major etiologies, metabolic, structural, and genetic. This is a two-day-old girl with smooth spurs, having right focal seizures at day two. So transferred to our ICU. In this EEG, a longitudinal bipolar montage, sensitivity of seven, obviously suppressed activity over left brain, continuous activity of mixed frequencies over left brain. The same flat in left, continuous in right, left, right. This periodic discharges is from heartbeat. Here should have a EKG channel. Next are three consecutive pages. Here you can see a periodic discharges from left central area with a suspected phase reversal of positive polarity, then negative. Rhythmic discharges at about 2 Hz. But then vanishing without clinical signs. We suspect this is a 25 second EEG seizure. This is another episode, again, seems to have a positive periodic discharges with a broader field involving central and temporal areas with rapid development of rhythmic discharges at theta range to alpha range, change to CZ referential montage we can see the ma maxima amplitude is at the T3 and the T5. Continuous and resulting in right focal seizure. This electroclinical seizure was about 60 seconds. Brain MRI reveal a MCA infection with extensive left brain lesion. This is a 25-day-old girl with smooth spurs, found to have poor activity and seizures for one day. EEG demonstrated the multifocal spikes. At times, with period of electro decrement for seconds. Here you can see a brief rhythmic low amplitude fast activity for two seconds in left temporal area. Next are six consecutive pages, unusual abnormal background. Some rhythmic discharges from left temporal area, then build up in frequency, then periodic. Somewhat irregular pattern 
extending to left central area. Persistent, but often numb. Continue, then down to B, periodic in low frequency, about 0.5 Hz, and gone. Clinically, we saw subtle eye and mouth movements. This is another episode starting from right temporal area. Rhythmic discharges at alpha range. Alternating with periodic discharges at about 1 Hz. Intermixed with short segments of fast rhythmic discharges. Extending to right central area. Longer and larger fast rhythmic discharges. Then vanishing gradually. Periodic pattern in very low frequency in the end. This girl was soon to ICU and the endotracheal tube was inserted. We didn't put on an EEG monitoring. Those above EEGs were obtained at the third day. Third day. In the beginning, except for a comprehensive survey for infection, metabolic, as well as brain images, we try to load phenobarbital to control seizures, but useless. B6 was tried. Next, the seizures were dramatically free. B6 dependent or responsive seizure was favored. Her parents refused further genetic study. We gradually stopped phenobarbital and now she is taking B6 only and remains seizure free. Mm -hmm.